By the way, I did mention the Redskins. Zach Brown apparently may not play on Sunday. Right. Why would you risk your long-term health to play in a meaningless game? What did you guys I, make of his headhunter comment that he made? That he's an idiot. Just dumb. It's inappropriate. Yeah. In my opinion. Okay, but do you think that guys in the locker room feel the same way? Yes. Okay. Fair I think a, a big majority of defensive foot player, football players try and rip the head off of the quarterback any chance they can. Yeah, I think so. But actually, I mean, I don't take his comment literally like that he's actually headhunting at all points. He's just trying to say the game shouldn't be that soft from his opinion. Fair enough. I I don't – I think that this we have deluded ourselves as to what drew us to football in the first place. And we like to try to take this holier-than-thou evolved progressive view of the sport – and some of that's good. Like, I want these guys to have all the technology they can to be as protected as they possibly can. At the end of the day, we say to ourselves that the savagery of that sport is what we the table in the first place. I that, think there's an I element think. of that. But, it, it, look, if you want to be violent and aggressive, you need that on the football field. You just don't need to uh, say it on Twitter. <laughs> it's like, yeah, but aren't you? Trying- I, I just don't understand that angle yeah. of it. I, but, I mean, I would, for me, one of the reasons why I like Gruden is I like transparency. I like right. people saying what they mean. And giving us content instead of just speaking in cliches. How guarded are these players? They don't say things like this because when they speak their heart, they get eviscerated and called, right. you know, ignorant and all this other nonsense. I'd rather him say, if you're going to go out there headhunting, let it be known. I appreciate his honesty, even if the sentiment probably isn't something he should express. But to me, the game hasn't suffered as much as some people make it seem. Oh, the game's not, it's not as physical. They're protecting the quarterbacks too much. I enjoy football in the NFL as much as I did when I was growing up. Yeah. And I guess back then, there were more vicious hits on quarterbacks. You don't need to have Gronk jumping on a pile, putting his helmet to some guy's helmet when he's laying on the floor. You don't need that. They have a targeting rule in college football. I'm not a huge college football guy, but when I watch college football, I enjoy it. And they try and they try and get rid of the head hunting aspect. To me, that makes sense. I'm with you. I I. I but uh, the, what you said about enjoying it as much as when you were a kid, I feel the same way. Like, when people have all the consternation around Thursday night football, the quality of the games, you can see it's not the same. I still would rather have football on right. on a weeknight. Even than, if it's a watered-down product. Right. Yeah, than Big Bang Theory. And right. people talk about the ratings decline. I saw this the other day. Okay, let's say there's been a ratings decline. I think a lot of it is overhyped. It still smashes Tiger Woods playing at some stupid golf tournament. Kills it. Kills it. That, by the way, that should never be spoken about. Golf should never be mentioned on a sports talk radio show. <laughs> Not once. Yeah, you, you, you caught us hate, on a good week. You would hate sitting in with the two guys. <laughs> I, that, I got the two right guys out of here. here because they love them some guys. Would you, Cakes, would you rather never talk about golf ever again? Golf does nothing for me. Unless, unless let, let me amend that. All right. Unless I can profit off of it. I mean, golf pool. Gaff. That's the that's lens that I choose to look at golf through but if if you got a show sheet for the rest of your life yes. and that one golf topic was ever on it would you be I'd happy be, I, would, I would be fine with that. Right. that that would be great i don't know that it's ever on a show sheet it's just a eb and well i like to feed the monster at times sometimes i enjoy them kind of going off sure so i will throw out the softball and let them run with it it, it amuses me at this point but those guys love it i mean jason lives jason goes he opens uh, Bonefish Grill. He knows the guy there. Opens it before it's actually open, so that he can watch golf with his buddies. To me, golf Think is about not. That. A, it's not a needle mover on a Thursday, by the way. <laughs> Just not. The tournament doesn't even matter until Sunday. He's going there on a Thursday, asking yeah. them to open up early. It's, it's an addiction. Addiction. To anything but <laughs> being at home with your family. <laughs> you guys want to take calls? Absolutely. We calls said it's here. open lines. Might as well. Uh, Jay in Arlington. How are you? Hey, good morning, guys. How y'all doing this morning? What's up, Jack? All right. Quick question. If the Redskins don't give Kirk this $34 million franchise, can you see him landing in Jacksonville? Already made team, ready to go. They needed a quarterback. Possibly. I know that uh, Akib Talib from the Broncos was saying glowing comments about Kirk Cousins. Right. They're going to be several suitors. If he's left out there, a lot of teams are going to be interested in him. But it's very I can also rare. see Eli. Now he's still yeah, going right. to play for Tomlin for a year or two. In Jacksonville. It just doesn't have a player as accomplished as Kirk Cousins just hits the open market. And especially in a quarterback-starved league, if you don't have one, you better be in the market for one. As so it will be robust for him, I would think. Someone brought this up to me yesterday that the thing that Kirk is going to be terrified most of is if they put the transition tag on him 
somebody offers him a deal and then the Redskins match it. Like he right. doesn't want to be here. Right. And that would be something that he would not find desirable. Right. Yeah, I think it makes perfect sense for the people that say, well, I mean, we don't know what's going on inside his head, but right. for the people that say Kirk doesn't want to be here, that what shows that, evidence is that, is that last year when they offered him money, even if it wasn't enough, he, even he didn't email. offer a counteroffer because he's afraid they might say yes. Yeah, that's crazy. You know what the wild card is in this, boys? What if the Steelers win the Super Bowl and, and Fatty rides off into the sunset? <laughs> I've brought that up before. I mean, can you imagine if that's the I mean, he, you plug him right in. You, right. you probably are on a uh, Super Bowl favorite. You're talking they, about Ben Roxenberg? That's makes the, a yeah, lot of sense. That, that gentleman. <laughs> His waddle is unbelievable. <laughs> Big Ben? I, I have never seen a double chain on a quarterback like that. And I know a thing or <laughs> hey, two about Double chance. Oh, I know about that. That guy hey, knows big about, boy. Knows about I hit the chance. wrong button. That's my soundboard. <laughs> and by the yes. way, very applicable. <laughs>